All right. Come on now. We back, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. And I'm telling you, man, Five Nation Music Awards, the FMA, September 15th. Over Shutting it down. Redondo Beach Performing Arts Center. That is where it's happening. This Come on now. Hey, you don't want to be anywhere else in the world besides the Redondo Beach Performing Arts Center. That night, it's going to be going down. Incredible got, lineup. Man, you know what? Incredible lineup. The lineup that night, we got Drew Deasy, Donna Jane, Common Kings, J Buzz, That's right. Anu Hair, Fiji. We got Lola, man. who's going to be, you know, yeah. In the house. In the house. We, we haven't given a, a proper introduction, but I just happened to look over her and then I, I just said her name. But anyway. <laughs> yeah, that so, was real smooth. That was real smooth. That was real smooth. And so that, that, that wasn't a segue, but we're going to do a segue. So our wonderful guest on Melodic Marinade tonight. Everybody give a warm welcome to Lola. Yeah, welcome. Wow. We actually have some, uh, you know, this this young lady that travels so far. Lola, where have you, where, where are you just coming from? You got to let them know where you, you got you just... I live in Samoa. Okay. And so I flew to Fiji and stayed overnight and then flew here. So it was like 12, 14 hours. So she wow. got a whole bunch of stickers in her passport right now. <laughs> nice. Yeah. You're getting well, signed off. Man, well, thank you for coming to the barbecue and hanging out with us. The FMA Awards are coming. Obviously, you're a part of this epic event. What are your thoughts? I mean, what are your feelings about the FMAs? I mean, you know, came I, all the way out here. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's a great thing. It doesn't matter what you're doing in the, in, in the community or Polynesian community. Anything that supports Polynesians doing music, I think it's a great thing. And... I think all Polynesians all around the world, whether you, you, you sing in New Zealand or whatever, yeah. you need, we need to come together. So it's a great thing and I'm, I'm really supportive of that. I'm, I understand the challenges because I've been involved in two, um, setting up of two music awards, one in New Zealand and Samoa, so I know oh, wow. how hard it is to yeah. get something pioneered. So my hat goes off to Fob Nation and, and what they're yeah. doing. So, come on now. Yeah. So, so, so speaking of those, those awards, you actually won a couple of awards, right? You actually won a NZ Music Award in '97, and you got you won one for the best female artist. Yeah, that's that's our coveted Music Awards. It's like, kind of like the Grammys here, but it's oh, the New nice. Zealand Music Awards. Yeah. So that was back in 1997, and so, then the other one was the best Pacific female artist at the Pacific Island Music Awards. In, that was in, in 2008. That was in New Zealand as well. Wow. So there's there's two different ones. Is that what you're yeah, saying? like we wow. decided the Polynesian artists decided mm -hmm. they wanted to acknowledge their own. So apart from the mainstream music awards, we gotcha. also have the Pacific Island Music Awards. Wow, yeah. and, you, and you won at both. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Come Ladies on, yeah, man. Yeah, we, got a prove, we got a proven champ in the house. <laughs> a proven champ. I'm still house. alive. <laughs> <laughs> 97, jeez. Man, I think I was just born that day. <laughs> uh, I was just playing. I'm just, man, she looking good, though. Oil of <laughs> Olay is, oil of Olay is a beast. <laughs> man, the, the skin is flawless. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Smooth. Jesus. She got the tight That's pores. the Salmon Sun. Yeah. Yeah. Come on now. She got the tight pores. Man. Man. The smooth pores. I know. I was going to say, Emma Rose, like, right up on my pores. I was like, I need to exfoliate. <laughs> yeah, you do. Stop that playing. HD camera is a beast. I know, man. That's just so crazy. So you, you're actually signed to Warner Music? I was signed to Warner Music in New Zealand in 1995. Uh -huh. And at that time, there were no Pacific Island artists on mainstream TV in New Zealand. Wow. So at that time, I was kind of like the first brown face mm -hmm. with music, doing music videos. I had hits in the, in the New Zealand charts. So how, but was, I, how was that? Just being um, the first? Yeah, I mean, it was all, all good, but I just kind of felt like they were turning me into something that I wasn't. Mm -hmm. And I like, didn't want to kind of conform to industry standards. I wanted, I wanted to talk about my own stories. So I left my record label um, after like, what, four what years. Were, what were they trying to like make you into? Oh, just because you're brown, they think that all you do is R&B music and hip hop gotcha. and rap. But yeah. it's music is music. That's right. Um, and this uh, the genre of music is so wide mm -hmm. that it's easy for people to stereotype you. Gotcha. So, um, and I wanted to not be that. Okay. I just felt it wasn't me. So. So I how, went back to my roots. How would you describe your, your type of music? A lot of people say that are you R&B, are you soul, are you Polynesian, are you gospel? But mm. to me, whatever God puts in my heart to write, come on now. That's that's what it's gonna come out. If it comes out rock, melancholy, R&B, Samoan, whatever. The last two albums that I did do were all in Samoan. So wow, that's that's, well, that's, that's beautiful. Man. So who are some of your your influences? Obviously, you are a groundbreaking artist, especially for the Pacific Islander community. Um, so you didn't really have people who looked like us, you know, doing this this sort of thing, the entertainment thing and the music thing. Who were some of your influences? 
I think uh, in New Zealand, what would have been the Yandel sisters? I don't know if you've heard them. Yes. They were a, a, a Samoan trio. They were the first Samoan group in the 70s to get a number one hit in New Zealand on wow. the charts. Jeez. And, you know, that was really, really, um, I think they were an inspiration. Also, I love Anita Baker. Come on now. Aretha, obviously. Stop uh, but I also grew up um, <laughs> with Samoan music because I started singing Samoan music when I was 13. So I, you know, did the whole the Sivas and the 21st and the Falfalingas and and then um, did the club scene. So I was a nightclub singer before I even got signed. Wow. So, so yeah. you, you actually um, own and operate your own label now, is that what it is? Yeah, yep. I got a record label. I set one up in New Zealand and helped establish a record label called D1 Entertainment. Um, I don't know if you heard of uh, Addy, if you're familiar with Addy's, their album that went platinum. Uh -huh. We had a lot, my husband used to manage Addy's, so we nurtured a lot of the young producers and nice. got them set up. Okay. Um, and my heart was to see younger artists and musicians and talent come up. Mm -hmm. So that was our heart, was to get them on their way. And so I was a part of that. And then I did my own label. Yeah. So you're under your own label? Do you yeah, I, I have my own label. Yeah. You have other She's artists. her own boss, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I'm I am. A <laughs> she, she, she got a cool boss, too. It's uh, herself. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I just jumped in like I no, got, I have a like I got boss. Tourette's. I was like, man, <laughs> my eardrum just popped, man. Oh, sorry, my bad, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> what yeah. the hell? So, so who are some of the other artists on your label? Just me. Oh, well, there you go. I, I had, I mean, I mean, I did the whole thing with a lot of other young artists and signing to the labels, and then we left the record label in New Zealand. And I just needed to, I went to Bible college for three years, moved as, to Samoa. As you and should. I had a big rest, seven years break. Yeah. And in between seven. that, I did two albums, and then. So, la ladies and gentlemen, she owns her own record label. Okay. She's the only artist on the record label. Come on now. So, she is keeping 100% of the checks. That's it. So, big ups to yeah. you. <laughs> Big ups to you. And she went to Bible college. And she went to Bible college. Come on now. <laughs> so she knows she ain't going to cheat herself. <laughs> Man. Yeah, so what, what is the reception like out here in the continental United States as far as, you know, other Pacific Islanders or maybe people who are outside of the Pacific Islander community? Um, I think for, uh, I think here in America, you guys are so blessed to have the resources here. It's mm -hmm. just a matter of pulling together and getting the know-how on how do we promote our, our artists. Um, in New Zealand, it's a lot more smaller. So everybody knows everyone. It's easy to do what you need to do. Yeah. Um, but here, I'm so glad that this is on because it helps the community here. Yeah, here we got Pocky. That's, that's yeah. what we got. And there so that's go. what it's all about. It's about helping the community here. Yeah. And the only reason why I flew here was I knew this is where God wanted me to come to show my support. Um, Amen. And I I do everything because of him. I don't, I don't, I yeah, basically I do everything because of him. Whatever he gives me, whatever he wants me to say, that's what I say and that's what I write. Whether it's gospel, Polynesian, whatever. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in it. Come on now. I feel like I'm in church right now. <laughs> Stop playing. You can be church anywhere, don't matter. <laughs> Come you on now. You have to be in the four walls. It's right here. You, you, you don't know right what church is. You can have is. church right here if you want. <laughs> Keep it real. When's the last time you've been to church, Joseph? <laughs> I was okay. in church in my heart. <laughs> Anyways, so, so looking forward to the FMAs. I mean, you know what? Back that up. We actually had a group that came out here a couple months, like a month ago. Uh huh. Five Star. Yeah. Have you guys heard of them? Five Star. Come yes. on. Yeah. Jesus. Man. TJ. Yeah. So have you have you actually worked with them? I know I know they're just they're just coming back out, but have you actually worked with them in the past? Yeah, I've worked with them in the past, and I did some of their songs on the uh -huh. first album, bilingual yeah. album. So nice. and I know yeah, I know the families and the boys. They're really cool, and they and I grew up listening to their music. Them, the Nina TFL, Tia Mata. I mean, Papa Se Yeah, there's so many. Um, yeah, so I get so, my inspiration from them. Such great musicianship. I mean, they, they are stars in their own right. Yeah. And, and the thing I loved about them was these are some of the most humble people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, and, and they didn't let the fame and all that get to you. Yeah. So for those of you aspiring artists out there, if you guys are true to the, your music, you're true to your craft, and you stay humble and hungry, yeah. That's the that's the uh, formula for success. And, and you know what? You that's can, why I'm not successful right now. <laughs> and you can own your own label yeah. and be the only one on your label. You know, and keep all the money. Come on now. <laughs> so so you have a, a actual album that's coming out? It's, it's your third yeah, album? Yeah, I'm working on my third album. Yes. Um, the last two albums were bilingual. They were Samoan and English. Gotcha. And the reason I wanted to do that was I wanted our young people to...